Last time, we talked about converting decimals into fractions. Now, how do you do it the other way around? How do you convert fractions into decimals? That's what we're going to talk about today. Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon para malaman niyo as soon as a new video posts. I mentioned this intro kanina. I already made a video on how to convert decimals into fractions. If you want that deep dive, click niyo na lang yung i dito. Catch up muna and then balik kayo dito sa video na ito. Okay, and uh, today we're going to talk about how to convert fractions naman into decimals. And in order for me to explain better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung fraction evolution natin, part 2, fractions to decimals. Dati, decimals to fractions, ngayon kabalik na lang naman tayo. Anong gagawin mo kung kailangan mo i-convert yung isang fraction sa decimal? Now, we're going to use yung traditional method natin here. And uh, I really want you to pay attention kasi, well, sa exams, usually lumalabas talaga. Eh. Ang difference pa niyan, minsan, ang sagot mo, fraction, pero sa options, pag mo, puro decimal. So, you really need to be comfortable with this kind of topic. Okay? Now, again, operating concept natin kaya siya naging fraction evolution is because ang fraction may equivalent siya in decimal which also has an equivalent sa percentage. And you have to understand that these are just the same. So, huwag kayo matatakot na parang, ay, saan ang ginuha yan or saan hinugot yan? If anything nga, no, looking at the comments dun sa first video dito sa series na to, dun sa conversion natin ng decimals into fractions, a bunch of you, ang comments ninyo yun, parang, ay, ganun lang pala yun. Kaya ko na, or dati hindi ko to alam ngayon, alam ko na. So again, it's all about practice. Ang gagawin nyo lang is you divide the numerator by the denominator. So yung 1, i-divide mo lang siya sa 5. Now, ano ang problema dito? Ang problema dito is that most people already forgot how to use division. And I actually have a video on that if you already forgot how to use long division. Ililink ko na lang dito sa i button sa taas, no? Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, panoorin nyo na lang. Now, it's a sample ko dito, and then I'm going to propose another way for you to um, kind of, well, kind of um, <laughs> get to the answer. Kung in case allergic talaga kayo sa division. Okay? So, ang una mo natin gagawin is yung division. So, 1 divided by 5. Now, of course, mas malit yung 1. Gagawin natin, nalagay tayo ng decimal point. Pag naglagay ka ng decimal, pwede ka na maglagay ng 0 dito. 10 divided by 5 is... 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Wala na tayong remainder. So, the answer here is 0 0.2. Okay? Yan na yung decimal. Ganun lang siya. I-divide mo lang yung number na nasa taas, the numerator, do sa number sa baba. So, 1 divided by 5. Now, paano naman kung ayaw ninyo mag-divide? Okay, now I taught this concept yung ratio rotation before, which you can employ lalo na kung nakikita mo naman divisible naman yung 100 sa 5. Let me show you how it's done, okay? Ang gagawin ko lang basically is i-over, i-ratio ko lang siya sa over 100, okay? Tapos iikot ko lang siya, okay? Knowing na any number over 100 is yung percent niya, okay? So ang gagawin ko lang, iikot ko lang ito. So, 100 divided by 5 times 1. So, 100 divided by 5 is 20 times 1 is 20. So, this is 20 over 100. Okay? Or, imove ko lang, kadalawa yung 0, 1, 2, 1, 2. So, 0 0.2. Okay? Now, yung iba, sasabihin, ay, mas complicated daw, hindi ko maintindihan. Balik kayo dun sa division. Okay? Again, kung hindi nyo to, parang, ay, hindi naman to masyadong helpful. Okay lang, choose to do the other na lang. I-divide nyo na lang siya. Okay? Now, let's take 5 over 6. Anong gagawin natin? I-divide lang natin siya uli. Okay? So, gagawin lang natin number na sa taas, 5, divided by yung number na nasa ilalim, which is 6. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dito, uh, 5, hindi kasha, so 0. Point Ayan na yung decimal natin, lumabas na. 0. And then here, you put 8. 8 times 6 is 48. So, may remainder ka na 2. Okay. Maglagay tayo na isa pang 0. 6, 12, 18. 3. Minus 18. Tapos 2 uli. 0. Tapos, labas 3 uli. Paulit-ulit siya, no? 
puro 3 na yan kasi kahit ulit-ulitin mo yan, laging remainder 2, laging maglalagay ka ng 0, ganyan-ganyan. So, ang sagot dito would be 0 0.833 hanggang paulit-ulit-ulit yan. Okay? Pero, sa exam, syempre wala namang papel na kasing haba ng infinity. Usually yan, 2 decimal places or 3. Pag may nauulit na number, ang tawag natin dyan repeating decimal, ang magiging itsura niyan, magkakaroon ng bar sa taas. So, ang options mo would probably look like that. Okay? Ang option mo would either look like 0 0.83, which is nung round up na version, and round off na version, or baka makakita kayo ng 0 0.833, tapos may bar dito, pareho lang yan. Okay, again ha, pag decimal, pag may bar sa taas, ibig sabihin na uulit lang siya. Now, it's time for your quick quiz. Tingnan natin kung makukuha nyo ito ng tama. I'm going to give you 3 minutes for the 3 questions. Hopefully, makuha nyo ng tama lahat. And then, at the end, we're going to discuss the correct answer, okay? So, if you're ready, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, ito yung first one. Sabi 1 over 8. Paano natin siya i-convert into decimal? Okay, ang gagawin lang natin again, number sa taas, i-divide natin siya dun sa number sa ilalim. 1 divided by 8. So, hindi kasha ng isa. 0 point. Lagyan natin 0 dyan. 1. Kasi may isang 8 na kasha. 10 minus 8 is 2. Okay. Tapos, magdalagdag tayo isa pang 0, kasi decimal na yan, pwede na lang natin lagyan ng lagyan ng 0 pa ulit ulit. 20 divided by 8, that would be 2, minus 16, kasi 2 times 8 is 16. Again, this is just long division ha, pero kung nakalimutan nyo na, paluorin nyo na lang yung series, ay eh, yung video ko doon para maalala nyo ulit. Nalagyan tayo 0 ulit dyan. 40 divided by 8 is 5, 5 times 8 is 40, so wala ka ng remainder, tapos na tayo dyan. Ang answer mo is 0 0.120. 5. Okay? 
So, yan na yung first answer. Next, 3 over 8. Okay? So, 3 over 8, lalagay natin yung 3 sa dyan, divided by 8. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin, basically, is a sign din natin siya uli. So, hindi kasha isa. 0 0.30, 8, 16, 24 is 3. So, kasha ang tatlo. 3 times 8 is 24. Minus lang natin yan. 6. Lagyan natin isa pang 0 doon. Okay? And again, pagdating sa ganito, we can just, um, we can just continue to divide ng paulit ulit. Or, if you want, there's also a way, which is kanina, di ba? Alam natin, ang sagot kanina is uh, 0.125. Ito, 3 over 8. So, pwede ko i-multiply lang yung 0. 0.125 by 3. Okay, ang lalabas dito would be 0. 0.375. And yun din dapat yung maging sagot. Okay, ang konsepto niyan, again, is kasi ang 1 over 8, okay, times 3, lalabas 3 over 8. E di ba sabi natin kanina yung 1 over 8? Kung familiar ka with your fractions and your decimals, this is 0 0.125. So, kung ita times 3 ko to, lalabas din yung 3 over 8. Yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, kaya ako huminto. Now, kung gusto nyo ituloy, ganun pa rin naman yung magiging sagot. This will be 7. 7 times 8 is 56. Minus, may 4 ka dyan, 0. 40 divided by 8 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. And if you notice right here, wala ka remainder. Ganun pa rin ang sagot. Ang sagot pa rin would be 0 0.375. Okay? Now, bakit siya makakatulong? Just in case na, for example, alam ninyo, ang 1 fourth, di ba? Example natin kanina is 0 0.25. So, ano ang 3 over 4? O, di, pwede kong i-multiply na lang yung 25 sa 3. That would give me 0 0.75. Okay? So, ang 1 over 5, sabi natin kanina, is 0 0.2. So, ano ngayon ang 3 over 5? Gagawin ko lang, times 3 na lang yon 0 0.6. Kung 4 over 5, times 4 na lang yung 2, that would be 0 0.8. Okay? So, again, these things you can play around in your mind. Kung wala ginagawa, parang ano kaya yung ganyan? Ano kaya yung ganun? Pwede nyo gawin para mabawasan yung kaba. Kasi the more you do it, lalo na kung mentally nyo ginagawa, mas parang magiging confident kayo. Okay? Now, paano yung number 3? Ito may whole number na, no? Hindi ko yan binigyan example sa inyo kanina, pero I think you will also figure this out. Kung may whole number, pwede nyo na siya itabi. Okay? May 2 ka na agad. 2 point something yan. Tapos, ang intindihin ko na lang yung 12 over 28. Yung iba kasi, gagawin pa siyang improper fraction. So, gagawin pa muna lang 28 times 2, 56, plus 12, 68, Tapos yung 68 ang i-divide sa 28. Paguran yan, di ba? Uh, kasi yun din naman lalabas, 2 point something. So ako, mas gusto ko, itabi ko na yung 2. At kung may options ka, di ba? Kung may options ka, A, B, C, D, tingnan mo na agad, sino yung 2 point something. Okay? Ngayon, kung isa lang yung 2 point something, siya na agad yung sagot. So makakapag-eliminate ka pa rin, makakapag-save ka pa rin ng time. Okay? Now, Dahil, uh, kunyari, kunyari lang, puro 2 naman yung simula, edi eh mag-long cut ako, gagawin ko lang 12 over, 12 divided by 28, or, which I suggest that you do 10 to save time, pwede ko pa to i e smallest terms. Kasi, ang napansin ko sa sarili ko rin, kapag nag-divide ako na mas malalaking numbers, mas masakit sa ulo. Kaya, yung 12 divided by 28, Medyo nakakapagod isipin. Pero kung iso smallest term ko, terms ko siya, yung 12 kasi pwede sa 2, i-divide ko lang siya both sides sa 2, magiging 6 over 14. Eto, pwede pa uli sa 2. Okay. Pag divide ko yan sa 2, magiging 3 over 7. Okay. Tapos yun na yun. At least, 3 over 7 na lang ang problema ko. Hindi na masyadong malaki. Okay. Hindi na 12 tsaka 28. Okay, ngayon, 3 over 7, gagawin ko na lang 3 divided by 7, which will give me 0, 0.0, ito, 4, 4 times 7 is 28, meron akong remainder 2, lagi ko din 0, 7, 14, so 2, tapos 2 times 7 is 14, may natira akong 6, so this will be um, 8, o oh, diba kasi 0 kasi 7, 6, eh, 7 times 8, Okay, 7 times 8 will give me 56. Tapos meron pang tuloy-tuloy. Now, usually sa exam, 
you stop at two decimal places, so probably as a good 10.43. All right, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Then no more exam this time. Para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com/teamlika. That's also where you can get more information on how to get reviewers, how to join the online review program, or the live review events that are coming up. And if you already have a copy of the workbook, you can find exercises for this topic under fraction evolution. Those will be helpful sa inyo rin as you prepare for your next exam. So thank you guys. And as we always say in this team, never stop learning. Aja aja. Kaya niyan. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.